This is Ross Bollinger, the artist behind Mythtery of the World, and you're watching the audio commentary version of the Olympic Games episode. Inspiration came from reading historical information on ancient Greek culture. I started with a list of achievements that the Greeks brought to modern culture. Architecture, gods and mythical creatures, mathematical equations such as the quadratic formula, which thanks to all the YouTube comments, I now know that I was supposed to subtract the 4AC, philosophy, Olympic sports, etc. The Olympics stood out immediately as a great premise for a short episode, and I began developing this competition between a Herculean jock and a wimp. I wanted an underdog victory, and for that to be possible, there needed to be a game-changing moment, such as transforming an ancient sport into a modern one. We begin with good old-fashioned shot put, and by using the pencil to modify the ball, it opens up some more possibilities. I kept thinking basketball, basketball, but was stuck on what could make a good hoop. So I then considered tennis. The skinny character is no match in shot put against the brute force of Hercules, but when we transform it into tennis, the tables are turned. The big guy is too huge and heavy and can't get around fast enough, so the little guy is victorious. I sorted through a lot of old Greek bazooki music, that's like a Greek kind of guitar, until I found this up-tempo piece with a great hook and started animating and remixing some of the parts. Then there were the judges. Shot put isn't really a sport that requires judging in this sense, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity of putting together a panel of sight-impaired Greek legends, and the scorecards helped guide the story. I did not even want to attempt to draw crowd scenes, though, and I knew there would be a lot of spectators at the Olympic event, so I cheated a little bit and just used sound effects to allude to a crowd. Slow motion here was a must for the climax of a sports film. The ending is drawn out to add some tension, and the music fades out. And then... Victory. The little man comes out ahead. Last I needed the icing on the cake, and Medusa turning everyone to stone seemed pretty conclusive. She needed provoking, and Homer grabbing her behind was enough to do the trick. And so, that's the Olympics as portrayed by the mystery of the world. Next, we are going to be visiting ancient China and witnessing the story of the silkworm. Check back next weekend for an update. See you then!